We started our hike from the Willow Lakes Trailhead around three o'clock. We arrived up here at Willow Lakes at about six o'clock, got camp set up, went up and checked out the lake. It's been kind of rainy and drizzly and foggy. Tomorrow, I think we have a 2 a.m. wake up call, 3 a.m. start time, what we're aiming for. And uh, I'm uncertain on elevation gain and, and distance right now, uh, but I can put that on the screen. And then, uh, yeah. Challenger and Kit Carson. So hopefully tomorrow will be number 36 and 37. It feels like every mountain range in Colorado kind of has its own personality. And the Sanger de Cristos, they're just almost mystical in a way. This is home for the night. Pretty ominous and beautiful at the same time. Kind of turning into a bit of a thing with the uh, wind and fog and visibility and wet rock and uh, we lied if I said I wasn't a little scared. I'm tired and you know it's a slog but we're getting there. It's just uh, you know waiting for a little hint of light here it's 4 30. going for you know, like 800 feet left. Summit of Challenger Point and this has been not great, but I think we're gonna push forward and just tag Carson. Just go hit it, get down, get the heck out of here. This is not, this is one of those not very fun ones. So, just gonna go finish the mission and get on with our lives. Final push for Kit Carson. This is the worst. From the get-go, even from last night with the fog rolling in, these two mountains have been an absolute psychological onslaught. It has not stopped. It was like scary the whole way up. And like I wanted to turn around so many times. But made it to the summit of Kit Carson and Challenger Point. So, well, I don't know. 
I just, uh, my, my brain my brain's done functioning now I just gotta get down and make sure we don't make any mistakes on the route that's Challenger Point and Kit Carson that's 36 and 37 now get me off this mountain